Shalom. In this week's parasha, Parashat Vayera, we read about the destruction of Sodom and all the cities surrounding it. But before Hashem destroys the cities, He decides to tell Avram about it. Avram is the one who's going to to uh, receive this entire land. His descendants are going to receive this land. So therefore, I want to tell him before I do it. So he tells Avram, I have to destroy these cities. There are terrible, evil people here, and I have to destroy the cities. Avram says, what if there'll be 50 tzaddikim, 50 righteous people in this area? Will you then destroy the entire area, including the 50 tzaddikim? No, says Hashem, if I will find 50 tzaddikim, then the cities stand and the people survive. Then Avram says, mm, and what if there's only 45? Because of those five people, between 50 and 45, five people you're going to destroy the whole land? He says Hashem, no, if there'll be 45, I also won't. And then Avram continues, 40, 30, 20, 10. Seems to be a very strange series of events. I mean, what, what's this conversation between Avram? Avram is bargaining with Hashem. Hashem says 50, says 40, 45, 30, 20, 10. What's going on over here? Rav, uh, Avram Yitzchak Bloch, the last row of tells Hashem Yikon Domov, was killed by the Nazis, Yom Shalom. In uh, Sefer Shiri Das, he explains, uh, Rav, Rav Bloch explains as follows, that this is not a question of only of the schus of the tzaddikim, the merit of the tzaddikim to save the entire area of Sodom and Amor. What's going on over here is a lesson in prayer, a lesson in tefillah. What does tefillah mean, says Rav Bloch? What does it mean that we ask Hashem for something? If it's good for us, Hashem should give it to us. If it's not good for us, even if we ask for it, Hashem shouldn't give it to us. What's the role of prayer in asking for something and only then Hashem gives it to us? Says Rav Bloch, the idea, one of the fundamental lessons of prayer is that a person has to come to the understanding that everything that he needs, everything that's good for him, and everything that he needs as a human being to survive in this world is given to him only by Hashem, and the only one who can give it to us is Hashem. When a person realizes that everything that we need comes only from Hashem, then it's possible to ask from Hashem that Hashem should give it to us. And therefore, if you look in Shemana Esrei, in almost all the brachas of Shemana Esrei, we add the point or we begin with the point you are the one who gives us wisdom therefore give us wisdom you should heal us Hashem why? because you are the healer because you're the one who heals us the point of, of tefillah first and foremost is coming to the understanding that everything comes from Hashem and it is Hashem who gives it to us and only Hashem and therefore we ask from Hashem Avram Avinu says Rav Bloch, at this moment when Hashem told him he's going to destroy Sodom, he had an, an unbelievable understanding of the Midas Harachamim the Midas of mercy of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. and he realized that if Hashem would have 50 Tzadikim if there would be 50 Tzadikim in this area of Sodom and Amor Hashem would not destroy the cities he knew it, he understood it and therefore he was able to ask for it he was able to ask that Hashem should save the entire area because of the 50 Tzadikim because he understood it he came to that knowledge and that understanding he didn't have the understanding at that moment that Hashem can save the five cities because of 45 people. He only understood the level of compassion of Hashem to save the cities because of 50 people. After Hashem told him he would save the cities because of the 50 people, then he struggled and he came up with another understanding of the mercy of Hashem. 45 people can also save an entire region. And 40 people, and then 30 people. But each time when the Pasik tells us about this conversation, we're really witnessing Avram Avinu is raising himself in his understanding. He's deepening his understanding of the compassion of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, And therefore he's able to ask for it. When he reached 10, like Rashi points out, he realized that there's no way that Hashem would save the world with less than 10 people, would save the region with less than 10 people. He made it, he, 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 he understood this from the flood. By the flood there were less than 10 people and Hashem didn't save the world. So therefore he stopped asking because there was no way he can come to an understanding that Hashem would save the entire region with less than 10 people. But 10 people he was able to understand and that's when he was able to ask for that. Hashem should help us that with our prayers, when we read our prayers, we should be able to come to the understanding that Hashem will listen to our tefillahs because we will understand that Hashem is the one that gives us everything we want and everything that we need and that's good for us and that's when we're able to ask for Hashem and Hashem will answer all of our tefillahs. This has been a short Vatar on Fashis Vayir. Inshallah.